Hey guys, so I am starting out by priming my face using the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light and then for foundation I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC25. I adore this foundation, I use it on clients, I use it on myself, it is literally so good, so full coverage and it lasts all day long, so I love it. Then for concealer, I am first concealing with the Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer. So I concealed underneath my eyes and then sort of down the center of my face because this concealer is obviously lighter than my skin tone. So I kind of used it as a highlight as well. And I just blended it out using the same damp sponge that I used earlier. Then to just conceal the problem areas around my nose and on my chin, like where my dermatitis likes to play up, I just use the MAC Pro Longwear in NC25 just to kind of have a more heavy duty coverage and to match my skin tone. Then I'm using the Bare Minerals Powder in Well Rested, which is kind of like a concealer powder. I used way too much on my eyelid right there. <laughs> But I'm using this to set my lids and my under eyes and sort of down the center of my face. So, you know, down my nose, in the middle of my forehead, my upper lip and a little bit on my chin. And then I'm swapping over to the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder in medium tan, I believe. And I'm using a big Sigma F20 just to set the rest of my face. Then to kind of bronze and contour my skin, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm using a Sigma F05, which is my favorite contour brush. It just, I don't know, it just makes everything look really, really good and seamless. So I'm using it under my cheekbones, around my hairline, my temples, my jaw, underneath my bottom lip and a little bit down the sides of my nose. And then for blush, I'm using this one from Bourjois. It's in the shade 34 rose something, but I'm using an F40 to, to apply it to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm taking the two highlight shades from the Huda Beauty Desert Sands Highlighter Palette. Oh, I, I forget how much I love this highlight until I put it on. So I didn't use the cream, I just used the powders. And I'm using a Sigma F42 fan brush to highlight all of the high points of my face. And then I'm taking the pink shade from that Huda palette and I'm just topping off my blush with it for a little bit more of a glow. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Dream Street palette from Colourpop and Kathleen Lights. And the first shade that I'm taking is called Magical, which is kind of just like a beautiful peachy shade. And I'm just using a Sigma E40 to buff this kind of messily all through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the matte light brown shade right next to it called Shooting Star. And I'm kind of just doing the same thing. This is like a fairly, you know, blended out, smoked out kind of look. Then I'm taking that beautiful warm brown called Potion and I'm using a MAC 217 brush just to be a bit more precise in the outer corner and through the crease. And then of course dragging it underneath the lower lash line as well. Then I just quickly used my E40 once again to blend everything out. And then I took this red pinky kind of shade called Spark and I just applied it to my crease just to give it like that oomph of warmth. <laughs> then I'm taking the shade Mooney which is a beautiful brow bone highlight, like literally beautiful and I highlighted my brow bone with that. Then back to the MAC 217, I'm taking the dark brown called Elfish and I'm just building this up in the outer corner and dragging it underneath the lower lash line and through the crease. So basically just layering all of these colours all on each other. Then for the lid shade, I'm going into the MAC Queen Supreme palette, which you guys know I love for foiled eyeshadows. They are amazing. So I'm taking the shade Long Live Luster and I'm using my finger to apply it all over my lid and trying to apply it to the inner portion of my lower lash line. Um, yeah, it's beautiful though, so beautiful. 
Then I just went back in with my MAC 217 to blend those edges out and make, make sure everything was super seamless. And then I did just go back in with a Sigma F70 and more of that foiled shade just to, I don't know, intensify it and add a little bit more. Then I took the highlight shade, the more white highlight shade from the Huda palette. I'm not sure what it's called, I'm so sorry. But I used the same brush just the other side to highlight my inner corners. And then taking this Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil, I just tightlined with that. And then I went in with the Technic Cosmetics Skinny Liner and I just did a tiny little line along my upper lash line just to make sure my falsies blended in nicely. Then I decided to just add a little bit more of that black pencil in my lower waterline just to make it kind of a little bit more smoky. And then for mascara, I'm using this Mecca Max one. and. Oh my god, I got it in my eyeball and it stung like hell. Usually if I get mascara in my eyes, it doesn't sting, but this one, oh my gosh. I love the wand and I liked how like wet it was, but look at this here. It went in my eye and that eye did not stop stinging for so long. Just FYI. Then I'm taking the Huda Beauty Samantha Number no. 7 lashes and applying those to my eyes to finish off the eye look. Then finally for lips I took the lip liner from Rimmel in Addiction. This is like my favorite nude lip liner ever. So I just outlined my entire lips. Then I filled in with the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. So I kind of filled in on the outer portions and left the very middle of my lips bare. Um, and then I went in with the shade Magic Wand which is much more of a lighter nude and I applied this to the very centre of the lips. And that completed the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. break every fucking time. Every time I use them. This eye stings like fuck. I'm so excited to be in bank for an amazing suite. What's at in it? Okay, are you the source of the problem? <laughs>